called The Play That Goes Wrong. We're going to find out what the part goes wrong is. Joining us today, two cast members. It's ready to hit the stage at Encore Theatre this weekend and next week, Patrick Hamler and Elise Hartman. And thank you guys for coming today. Thanks for having of us. Course. Appreciate it. Okay, so I guess, Patrick, let's start with you. Tell us about your character in the show because apparently this is a laughing slapstick comedy for this, right? Yeah, this is pretty much funny all the way out and the, the, the comedy comes through the situations that the cast members find themselves in. I actually play two characters, so it's a play within a play, essentially. Oh, the okay. members of the Cornley Drama Society are putting together a murder mystery. Okay. Well, this is pretty ambitious for them, but they keep having things that go wrong throughout the play, and it kind of becomes a will they survive to the end <laughs> to get this thing up and going. So a lot of the humor is found in the situations and what's going on. The actors that are playing the characters are also interacting with the other people. So there's there's some tug of war with the characters that are being played and also with the actors and their relationships too. So there's a lot of subtlety, a lot of different level things that are happening, but it's a, wow. it's a riot throughout. All right, so it's a comedy and as you said, a riot throughout. Does that make it harder for you guys to be on stage and do some of your stuff and wait maybe for the laughing or what? I think so. So because we each play at least two characters, you can't just react to the thing that's going wrong how you would. You have to react how your character would. So I'm Elise, but I'm playing Sandra, who's playing Florence. So Elise isn't reacting to the things that are happening to Florence. Right. Sandra is. I so wow. it creates a lot of levels that we have to compete with. And it's a little confusing, but we end up all with smiles at the end. I think, isn't this an award-winning play? I mean, it people, is. people mm -hmm. really love this play, and it's really gotten a good response. So to bring it locally, I don't think a lot of people have seen this play before. So are you guys excited about bringing something new? Absolutely. This is one of my favorite plays of all time. I love the um, productions that this, um, this group does. They do all kinds of stuff. And so when I saw that it was on the lineup for this year, I knew I had to audition. It's so good. Right. Is this your kind of comedy, too? I mean, is that why you wanted to be in the show? Yeah, it really is. I, in fact, <laughs> the funny thing is when I auditioned for this, I'd never heard of the play before. Oh, and I auditioned okay. for it, and I got a role, I thought, Okay, I need to find out what this is about. <laughs> so I went home and I watched it on YouTube and it was hilarious. I was sitting by myself, my computer laughing out loud to this show, and I've interacted with a number of people who they've seen it in different places and are like, mm -hmm. oh, I've seen the play that goes wrong. Oh, that thing's hilarious. I'm so glad you guys are doing that in Lima. Well, you know, I'm thinking like Saturday Night Live, you know how they break characters sometimes and laugh. Is this one of those shows where it's hard for you guys not to laugh too at some of the stuff that's happening? I get in trouble all the time for laughing <laughs> when I'm not supposed to. <laughs> <laughs> There's an element, too, where the, the character, you see kind of the character. So I play Robert, who's playing Thomas Collymore in The Murder Mystery. So Thomas is doing things, but you also see elements of of Robert kind of break out. You know, there's people kind of mess up their lines. You see Robert kind of roll his eyes, and uh -huh. there's someone who m messes up how do they pronounce things, and Robert, you know, kind of jumps in and <laughs> corrects how you're supposed to say it. Right. So there, there's an element of... of breaking character that's sort of baked into the cake, so oh, to speak, so that's that, nice. that makes it a lot of fun, too, and the audience yeah, yeah. kind of has to decide, okay, is is that part of the play, or does that really happen? Or <laughs> in some elements, you have a professional wrestling aspect of it, which oh is also a little fun, wow. too. Wow. Well, this sounds really fun. All right, so um, what would you say? Leave kids at home? Teenagers are okay? What, how would you rate this show? Or is everybody okay to come to it? I think this one's pretty okay. Um, it's kind of Agatha Christie meets Monty Python. Okay, so. all right. That's kind of fun there. All right, that's a good comedy <laughs> right, way yeah. to describe it there. Yeah, <laughs> so like maybe really little kids won't understand a lot of the comedy yeah, that's right, in yeah, it, but you know, teenagers head. will be okay, preteens, things like that. Right, I, I think they'll get it, really and, I, fun. and I think you'll you'll have a blast. All so right, sounds definitely like use it. the bathroom before you go to the show. <laughs> so you could urinate yourself okay, laughing at the end of this one. There we go. There, we, there was some wise advice. It's opening this weekend and also next weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Information is on the screen. Buy your tickets now. Thanks, you guys, for coming today and telling us about the play that goes wrong. At Encore. All right, don't go away. Need Edition continues in a moment.